Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at the Bridge 2023 update. All right, if you're not using Bridge, you're missing out on a great application to help you find and sort files. Um, it was primarily meant as a, a front end preview application for Photoshop, but it can really open and preview a ton of different applications. Um, I do primarily still use it as an image browser um, and organizer metadata and things like that. So let's have a look at some of the big updates. So this is the, the interface of Bridge. Although it, it might not look like it's it's changed, it has now changed. We have got different content panels here. So I've got this content panel open, and if I go to a different um, folder, then you'll see the contents of that folder. But what if I wanted to have both of these open at the same time? Well, you can now click on this little button here, or you can click on the flyout menu, click here, and it opens another panel. So now when I go to this folder, I see its contents, this folder, and I see its this contents. And I can keep doing, adding as many content panels as I want. Now the panels are dockable and you can float them. So if you're familiar with changing your interface in something like Premiere Pro or After Effects, it's the same kind of thing, I'll show you. So let's say I wanted uh, to have these in this in a window and see that one at the same time. Well, if you click and drag, you'll get this indicator of where you're going to drop this. So I could drop this to the side, and now I've got two panels side by side, and uh, we're a little bit cramped down here at the bottom, but um, you get the idea. So now I've got two of these panels. If I hold the control key on Windows and the command or the command key on Mac and drag, I'll now float this around. It's not going to resize that one over here. In fact, what I should do is double click on Essentials and reset that. This is going to ask me if I really want to reset that, and I do. So now when I open up another panel, when I hold the control key or the command key and drag this, then it's not interfering with that other one. So this is a completely independent panel. You can see that I can change the view uh, of this panel at the same time and have a different view than that panel back in there. So this was a big customer request where they wanted this kind of control. If you've got multiple monitors, you could drag these panels to different monitors. Now here's an example of using Bridge on um, my setup with two different monitors. And you can see I've got one, two, three, four different content panels on two monitors. There's no maximize control on the, on the top, uh, but you can resize these panels manually and position them to another size. Now, in terms of uh, workspaces, workspaces have been updated. You can click on these double arrows and you can go to different workspaces. So this is the film strip view. So now when I'm clicking on here, I can get it. This is a little bit like uh, Lightroom has. The one odd thing I found is this stays over here. Although I'm in the film strip view, Essentials is here. Okay, if I want to get back to Essentials, I can click on that and pop back in. So the other thing they've updated is associations. So if I right click on a file and choose Open With, I can pick the application to open. I can browse for an application. I can also change associations. And you can also do this in the preferences. So if I choose change associations, it's going to open up the preferences in file type associations. File type associations 
is the application you're picking to open that particular file. So if it's a JPEG, maybe you want it to open in a, a JPEG viewer and not in Photoshop. And you could do that, or you can just say, if it's an image, I want all these images to always open in Photoshop. Or a PDF, do you want that to open in a browser, in Edge, or in Acrobat? You could uh, make those associations there, and you can see there's a massive number of choices here for a lot of different uh, files. You can also hide undefined uh, file types associations and learn more and then reset in case you've made a, a mess to things. So file type associations is a big update. Now the next thing is looking into what Adobe is calling subfolders. And that means that if you're looking at um, a content panel, and that content panel has a folder, uh, typically by default, you have to double click that folder to open that folder. Well, now you can tell Bridge, anytime I open something in a content panel, look all the way through there. Now be careful, because you got to remember your computer has hundred, literally hundreds of thousands of files. So if you went to the main root directory and turned this on, um, probably Bridge would have to work very hard. So I'm, I'm gonna go to a folder I have uh, called graphics. It's where I just dump all of my graphics when I'm working on things. And when I open this up, you can see I've got images down at the bottom and I've got a bunch of folders. Uh, I try to stay organized, but sometimes I just throw things down in here. Now, in the little flyout menu, you can choose always show items with subfolders. The good thing about this is it's not global, and I don't think you want it global. If it was global then and you went to this PC or Macintosh HD, again, it would go through all the uh, hundreds of thousands of files. This is per content. So only this panel will, will do that. And you can also get to it in the view menu, show items from subfolders. Now, if you open up a folder with no folders, show items from subfolders will be grayed out. It's smart enough to know that. So I'm gonna click on this and um, it's going to, you can see the, the um, The scroll wheel is getting smaller and smaller. Scroll bar is getting smaller and smaller as it's looking through all these files. So as I come down here, you'll see tons and tons of files. These are the files I use for my graphics. So they're icons, they're drawings, illustrations. Holy smoke. <laughs> and I don't even know how many I have down here. Is it finished? I don't know if it's finished. Maybe it is, I'm down on the, the uh, end of the alphabet here. So you can see all of those, it keeps the folders. So if I wanted to jump into one of these folders, um, I could, and then open that up. And you can see that it's turned off. So let's go back up to graphics and you can see that that's turned off. So that view of showing the subfolders, as soon as you exit out of this folder, it turns that off. I think that's a good idea. It, it, you know, I've got a wicked fast computer here and, and maybe several hundred images, but if this was thousands or tens of thousands, you got to remember that it's not just reading the name, it's reading metadata, it's reading thumbnails. And if it's video, it's going to be peeking into those videos and you could have thousands. So it's useful, but you got to be careful about this. Okay. Um, there's also some updates for uh, working with um, Apple's M1 chip. So now it's all Apple M1 native. So it should be wicked fast. And of course, as usual, a ton of bug fixes. I'm really happy that Adobe ha keeps updating Bridge. Um, there was a time when Bridge was on the chopping block, meaning it was an application Adobe didn't really see a lot of value in for a while. Um, so it was about to go away. It didn't, it's still here. It's robust, it's being supported. Um, there's lots more in here. I just wanted to show you the stuff that's in the 2023 update, uh, but I'll, I'll put a link in uh, the description for um, a few other tutorials that I think I have at least two, maybe one. Anyway, I'll link to them in the description. 
Hey, if you're new to video revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. You can donate once monthly. Thank you to all our wonderful donors. Yay. We do appreciate everything that you do. Sometimes people will ask me a question. I don't read comments anymore, but people will, con will uh, use the contact form on Video Revealed, send me a question, and if I help them out and they find it useful, they'll also donate, and we, I, I really appreciate the folks that do that. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to have a look at applications other than Premiere Pro that have had an update that I think you might find interesting.